Hello and welcome to the Mike from LA1 Network here on YouTube. And this is it. This will be the last episode of the day. Featuring our last new coach for NCAA 12 for at least a while. And this will be... And we're going to go with... How will we name you? Evan? We're going to go with Rob. Rob Lowe. Yes, Rob Lowe. We're going to make him a... Make him just a, like a normal fan. <laughs> Talking the coaching job. Now it's time for the alma mater wheel. And he's going to school at... UAB, how convenient. And we have to just have to go... Like right here, which will be a spread offense. And we spin the wheel here, and it'll be a 4-2-5. So there we go. Dynasty file name, we're not going default 1, heck no. No, not love. Low, there we go, jeez. We are going to go with the auto names. Like always. So this will be the last video, so take a look what time it is. We're only 11 minutes away from midnight. And these are up, be up at 1 a.m. at the time of this recording. And take a look, it's, we're 3 a.m., three-year contract for USC. Take a look at the alma mater. No, it's UAB, it's going to be out of the running. And good, it's a two-year contract anyway. I swear, that was pure luck that Western Michigan got. And it's his Tennessee, let's take a look what they're offering, two years. Here, so let's just take a look as we... What about South Carolina? Let's take a look what they're offering. They offer a two! Seriously. Take a look here as we dot... As we take a look at Oregon State, the coaching gig, two years there. But then there's Oregon. Oregon, they got two years as well. Lovely. Take a look at Ole Miss. Rebels, no. Take a look at Oklahoma State as we see we can we make a comeback there? No, three-year contract. Got away. But then there's Ohio State. Let's take a look at their offering. Three goody. As we take a look at there's Northwestern. Let's take a look at their offering. Three. Let's get out of here. And then there's North Carolina. Let's see what they're offering. Two. Get out of here. But then there's New New Mexico. Let's take a look what they're offering. Three. Let's get out of here. But then there's Navy. Let's take a look what they're offering. Oh, let's get out of here. Uh, we're skipping the Michigan schools, but what about Miami? Let's see what they're offering. Four, let's get out of here. Four, let's get out of here. But then there's Merrill. No. Yeah, let's take Marshall out. Okay, three. That means Maryland has the one, most likely. And I'm definitely wrong. Louisiana Tech. Let's see how this is. Four. Let's go. Let's take a look at LSU. Not defensive coordinator. Ooh. Well, this means this has to be. This has to be a one year. This has to be it. Nope. Two. Jeez. But what about Kentucky? Let's take a look. Oh, that would have been great to coach at Kentucky. That would have been big. At least that would have been a big job. Kansas State. That's a one year contract, in fact. We left the Big 12 to go to the WAC with my coaching, with my dynasty in this game. So, yep, sign right there, Roblo. You're coaching Kansas State. So there we go, Kansas State. They broke our hearts in the la in the triple overtime. As you can see, it's Alan Manning will be our starting quarterback. Casey Means will be the backup. But, oh boy. Well, we're probably going to make Allen our starter for the time being, but if he gets hurt, we're going to go with Casey. Then Chris Douglas will be our... Right. Halfback will be Travis Butler. He is our impact player. 87 overall, by, followed by Greg Bryant, Craig Massey, and Jermaine Davis. Oh, goody, another Jermaine. Then we got Shannon... Fullbacks, we got Shannon McDonald and Kerry Harris. Wide receivers, here we go. Eric Phillips, Kyle Johnson, Anthony Oliver, Wendell March, Moss. Rob Brooks and Joel Davis. 
Tight end, we got Eric Jude and Eric Dunn. Oh, we got Eric Jude. We got JD here. And an open slot. Now we got our kickers. Let's take a look. Our punter is Howard Evans. And our kicker is Tommy Love and Mike Gould. Take a look at the custom schedule. We got an FCS opponent. Oh, goody. Oh, bye bye. I think actually this this is actually a good schedule, except Miami's a little too hard. So we're gonna wipe the floor of Akron. <laughs> Other than that, this is actually a good this is actually a good schedule. I love the fact we have to end with Iowa State. So with that, we're fine with that. Rob Law is going to start things off here for us. So as we can advance to the regular season. And we are counting down to midnight, even though this is not New Year's Eve. So here we go. And don't worry, once these are up, I'll get started on the uh, coaching carousels for this game. For this game, for NCAA 13 to get started on those because we got a lot to work with. So let's get rolling as we take a look at recruiting here as we take a look at the team overview. And only tackle in the center, that's great. And our, our best hat, yeah, we're in trouble with the quarterback position. And our quarterback, Travis Lewis, he's a 90. Jeez. Jeez. And hope we got an FCS school and his FCS East, the Rhino. So let's get started here. But first, uniform options for Kansas State. We got our home. Away, alternate, all purple. It's, I wonder if the all black jerseys are in the game. There's a white and purple. Purple and silver, that one's nice. Do we have a. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, the black ones aren't even in the game. That sucks. We're gonna go all purple. So it'll be Kansas State versus FCS East. Don't forget, this Saturday I will be covering every dynasty known in the Mike from LA1 network. From my UAB dynasty to my to this one. All the way to the new ones. KSU Stadium here in Manhattan, Kansas. Hello, everyone. I'm Brad Nessler, and beside me in the booth is Kirk. Four Kirk. minutes till midnight. Jeez, I'm gonna be a... reporting from the sidelines. Welcome to college football, brought to you by Lowe's. Let's build something together. Today's games between the Rhinos and the Wildcats. A Kansas State. Of course, last season, Kansas State shocked everyone when they became the number one team in the nation in real life. So let's see how the new Kansas State Wildcats for next season do real well here. And I gotta turn this down a tad bit here. I will be quiet for the fight song. I mean, when I said the Saturday, I mean Saturday and Sunday, I keep for constantly forgetting to say that. Jeez. Well, college football fans, it's time to begin another great season. For Kansas State, the star of the offense is an electrifying running back. Well, Travis, Travis Butler. can leave a mark on a game like this guy can. Whenever he gets the ball, he has the ability to go all the way. And there's the Archie Manning, which is the Calvin Klein of this game. So we win the toss, huzzah, which is, that's incredible. And here we go, we got, we're going to start off this test with Travis's ability here. So here we go, Allie Manning has evil handed off to Travis Butler. Here we go, there you see Travis Butler, and here's the theme that we've been having all day today. 
Long running plays, and he is gone. Touchdown, Wildcats. And just like that, the Wildcats struck first, and just like that, he breaks the old record. Right, A record has been broken right off the bat. So now it's time to test out Ali Manning. So Travis Butler, despite an 80-yard run, he has failed to get a punt return. Lovely. There you see Phillips, and he gets it there for the first down. So as you guys weren't paying attention when I was with Oklahoma State, here we are here. And there you see we're at Bill Snyder Family Stadium. That press box, no longer there. It's been torn down. And I love, seriously, this is awesome. And, and uh, I can't even see what that says. Oh, I guess that was supposed to be. That's high definition. That's awesome. This is no longer there. I said it's all purple. And there's, and there you see that scoreboard with the Big 12 logo, which is nice. Which makes me understand why is there no Big 12 logo here. I hope you Big 12 fan, hope you Kansas State fans are happy. And don't worry, there's a good possibility we may have an, a Kansas State player in Road to Glory in NCAA 13 or 14. I'm telling you, or 12 at least. And, see, and Allie Manning gets sacked right off the bat. Oh, beautiful. So Allie Manning, excuse me. So there you see, and Alan Manny makes a big mistake. And just like that, and the FCS East fans, they're saying, Oh my god, we can actually play. And oh great, how are we going to recover from this? Okay, our Alan. Wow, you actually almost pulled it off. That would have been a miracle if that would have happened if we score a touchdown from that far. That way, Alan Manning would have been the player of the week if that happened. And there you see a good throw right there. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Okay, if they don't score here, they real... Okay, good. They Okay, they did score. I swear, if they didn't score, they were the worst football team on the planet. And they did. So it's tied at 7. Thanks, Alan. Gives it to Travis Butler. And once again, he has been trolling FC at the Rhinos here. So here we go, Alan Manning, he will pass it to Johnson, gets it, and he gets a 8-yard gain. So we go off tackle, and it is midnight. So Kyle Johnson did a good job right there, so we're going to give it Alan Manning. Hands it off to Travis Butler, and he will get the first down, but the Rhinos do stop him. And there you see Willie. Seriously, the thing name is Willie. What's up with that? I guess it must have been a fan vote. It's just like naming the Minnesota Wild mascot. So here we go. And here we go. And actually, this could be a good play for a touchdown right here. No! Yeah, and the Kansas State fans are saying, yeah, you suck. And they say, oh, who sucks now? Ooh, good job, defense. Good job. I'm quite impressed. Oh, wait. Why am I saying that? Kansas State has an outstanding defense over compared to these guys. So here we go. As he will pass it to Jude. And, oh, he got picked off again. Oh, my God. Alan Manning, I think he could be the closest thing to the uh, Anthony Bowie. But except right here, he gives it the done. Oh, he dropped it. Jeez, what is up with these guys right now? Ever since that opening rushing touchdown, opening rushing touchdown, these guys have yet to recover. There's a good play to Jude right there, and that's a first down. So Kansas State is up 
is tied here. There you see Allen. He's trying to wait for Oliver. Got him. Touchdown. And boy, the Wildcat fans are loving it. So here we go. 14-7 Rhino. Not Rhino, it's not Kansas State. Ugh. If the Rhinos are winning, oh, that would be an upset. And besides, we're not even ranked. So here we go, Manning. It's going to throw it. Oh, that would have been big. You could say he had no chance in hell then. You see a nice throw to Phillips. Phillips, he nearly got, he broke that one up. But he can't break up this one. First and goal for Kansas State. And boy, the fans in Manhattan are loving it. So here we go. Allen Manning hands it off to Travis Butler. Butler, oh, yeah, yeah. So here we go. We're going to try Allen's running skills here. Let's see if he could do what one quarterback could do. That's score a touchdown. Let's see Allen Manning. Ooh, spear by 34, but a valiant good. That was actually a pretty good attempt. I give him props for that. So there you see we got a nice play to Allen. Oh, we're going to have to take a field goal. So it is 17 to 7. That's still a pretty big lead. And good. And our defense is continuing to rock. Here we go, Allen Manning hands it off to Travis Butler, and look at this one. Oh, he got squished by the defense there, so second and one. So here we go. Dunn hands it off to Butler, and here we go. And there's Travis Butler trying to break through, and he couldn't get it past number 13. So here we go, slot corner. So here we go. He will pass it. Oh! So FCS East, I, and right now there is rumors in the field that they're saying they're maybe defecting to Kansas State. So one for three, and this is against an FCS school. That's come on, guys. This is pathetic. Okay, there's you. Thank you. Jeez. First and goal. Are you kidding me? That was a two-yard rush. So here we go. Alan Manning gives it to, guess who? Travis Butler. And he can't quite get it quite in just yet. So here we go. Time for the counter. And let's see how we go here. We're giving it to Bryant. Seriously? Well, he gets the job done. What? Flag. Aw, oh, come on. We just got trolled. Screw you, ref. And Willie saying, what? That's ridiculous. We're getting trolled. So here we go. Hopefully... Hopefully we don't get trolled by the referees anymore. Duke gets it, and this time we get to keep it. Scores, and this time we get it. Good job, dude. And just like that, we are scoring big. And of course, FCSE scores. What do you expect? Actually, I didn't expect that. So here we go. As Travis Butler is back out there. As here we go. Butler, ooh, and we're going to call a hurry up here. And we're going to... Oh, where's the hail? Oh, I see. We gotta call a timeout first so we can do it. There we go. There we go. Let's see how Allen can handle this. The Hail Mary play. Let's take a look here. He got it. Oh boy. He's got it. There's Moss. He got him. Touchdown, Wildcats. Via Hail Mary. Oh, baby, Alan Manning got it at the right time. Play, 
And oh, we thought it would have been it right there, but nope. He got it in. And the Wildcat fans are going nuts. And there you see Willie doing a spin of Rooney. 72 yards. That's really impressive. Right there. So here we go. EA boot. And there you see, oh, that would have been a good pick right there by Allen. So here we go, Allen Manning gives it to Travis Butler, and boy, what do we have here? What do we go? Oh, that should have been a face mask right there. That's what I'm saying. So here we go, we have a pass play here, as you see, Allen Manning. Good throw right there. Oh, he overthrew it. So Butler has back spasms, so he will return soon. Oh, great. Already we have an injury. Already we're having injury problems. And there you see Bryant gets it in there. Set third and six. So here we go. Slip screen. So here we go. Manning. Gunning to get the throw off. Gets it to Phillips. He breaks through. Gets it in there. Touchdown, Kansas State. And he and the ref goes right through Phillips. Jeez, and great form right there for Kansas State. Oh man. Good game so far. And what the? Oh, dun 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 dun! So here we go, Kansas State. As he gives it to Travis Butler, he has to be careful because of those back issues. And there you see Oliver. Oh, he, I think they aggravated it right there. So here we go, quarterback. Oh, I meant to hit. I meant to hit Y. That way, Allen can get a run in. But nope, we're gonna try and hurt Travis some more. So there you see, there you see Travis Butler. He got it. First down. There it is. Oh. There you see, and there you see a good fake out. He will throw it to Johnson. He gets taken down. First down. Nice job by Alan Manning. So here we go. As Butler's on there, so that means Allen gets the rest. And there you see Bryant. Oh, jeez. Feared by number 20. Here we go. Verticals. Back to Ray, back to Alan Manning. The lost Manning brother. Da da. Ah, get it. At least I made that. At least should have made that joke a long time ago. And Oliver, he should have caught that one. So here we go. Four for six. We're getting really hot here. And ah, oh, he, he took too much time, and we failed. And just like that, we're still up big. 38-14. At this point, it's time to send the third string out. One more, but first, one more touchdown. And there you see Travis Butler, and boy, ooh, 95 got him. And seriously, why is he having my number? So here we go, Kansas State's up big here. First down here, so it's time for the stick and nod here. And uh-oh, wait a minute, what do we got here? Ooh, first down and the ball rolls right through the ref. This game is not full of glitches. Unlike MLB 13, the show where, where the players are forfeiting from other teams here. And, oh, Archie. So, verticals four for seven. Thanks to Alan Sack there a few minutes ago. So, here we go. We're going to try this one. And hopefully, we can succeed here. And uh, once again, he took too much time. And boy, the FCS, FCS, these fans, they are loving it. Seeing us suffer. So here we go. Back to the pass. 
And there you see a nice th good throw to Johnson. And he should have kept going. That would have been a clear as day of a touchdown. So here we go. Four minutes left. Thankfully, I can get so I can get to bed and upload. And there you see a nice throw to Oliver. Touchdown! Wildcats! And there's Alan Manny. He breaks the school record. Congratulations. And there we go. And now we're going to make that switch. Mass sub. First team offense. Yes! Zoom. And we're going to go halfback sweep. So here we go, and Alan Manning is back for some reason as we get ready for the mass sub. There you see, there you see Travis Butler. He breaks through. Oh my god, can he break through the other one? No! But first down nonetheless. Good job. So here we go as Alan Manning is back out there for, again for some reason, but I guess they I guess the head coach saying no. He he I guess in the game they have to approve it. There you see Travis Butler trying to get it in there. Second and five. Is he Travis? He runs into a defender and he pays for it. So here we go. Now it's time for our new guys to come in. Here you see Means hands it off to Bryant. Bryant, and look at that! Ryan gets it in there for the first and goal. So Means is doing a good job. And there you see Bryant get it in there. No! Okay, is there a quarterback play we can do? Oh, four verticals. I guess we can actually have him run it in. Means run it in. So here we go. There you see means. Oh, he could. He done it at the wrong time. Casey means. Oh my God. But we have one minute left. And now at this point, we know we're we're destined to win this one. And yep, we failed that one. So all we gotta do is just take the field goal, and that is it. We win. The Wildcats win. 48 to 14 over FCX East. So. Rob Lowe is doing a great, did a good job in his debut against Kansas, against FCS East. But just imagine how he would do in the, in the Big 12. So we went back to the Big 12. So a very big win right there. So now it's time to do some recruiting. Excuse me, quit auto-saving here. And let's take a look where we are in the preseason polls because I think I forgot to show this off. Oh, here we go. Let's see where we are. Hopefully, we're in the top 40. We're not in the top 40. Are we in the top 50? No. We're barely out of the top 50. Oh, my God. And why is Nevada on there? Or, hell, why is, Kansas, why is Texas Tech up there? Ugh. Game logic. So, here we go. Recruiting. Looking at here. All we need is a tackle and a center. Looking at centers, looking at Greg Humphrey here. As we take a look here at Craig Humphrey. Athletic facilities, we, we're known for them. Fan base, oh, we got a great fan base. Okay, early playing time, oh boy. That's what we're going to offer. Oh, I was hoping for him to... Looking at tackles now. Looking at Corey Alexander from what Oklahoma? Oh, and also a pipeline too. Fan base. Yeah, sorry, Colorado. Only seven? Seriously? Early playing time. Wait. What's off for this? Oh shoot! I mean, they hit the offer of the scholarship. Shoot. You're welcome, Colorado. Jeez. Ah, oh, I guess we gotta wait till next week. 
Oh, we're gonna go after Greg Holt, then we're gonna offer the scholarship. Thanks for the offer, I'll keep it in mind. Pro potential, yeah. Ooh, we're gonna make a pitch for it, and, well, we got that one. So as now as we advance the week, here as we advance the week half an hour, for the last time today, or tomorrow morning, so this is tomorrow morning, so good morning everybody, and now we gotta buy, great, that way we can make it up. So with that, I say, I think this wraps up my day, and that way I can go to bed, that way I can wake up later on, later, the, later, this, later this morning, that way I can get ready to go with some NCAA 13 for ya. So I hope you guys enjoyed my new series today, and that, don't worry, there's a lot more to come on the Mike from LA1 channel. And I hope you guys are looking forward to my Mike 49324 series. And oh, Winston actually committed. Huzzah. Obviously we have two Winstons here. Great. So with that, that's just about do it. But before we go, let's take a look at the top 25. Yada, yada, yada. And there you see it. Oregon fell to 11. Ouch. You can pause the video to see where your favorite team is. And no one dropped out. So no round of applause for people. Take a look at the conference standings. As you can see, we are up and look at this. Missouri only gave up seven, a touchdown. So did Kansas. Texas Tech actually shut out somebody. Now that's just hilarious. And Texas, that's not a big surprise. And besides, only Baylor lost. That's pretty sad. Look at look at the Heisman watch. As you can see, we got... Okay, do I have to repeat the names? I think that's just about do it for this episode. Sorry for the repeat names here. So come back next time as we do some recruiting. Good night.